All right, let's answer your questions now. First up, a video question from Anthony in New Jersey. Question for you guys on Brookfield Renewable Partners, ticker BEP. Uh, I feel like this makes for a great long-term investment with the increased debt levels throughout the world in both corporations and governments, uh, the long-term contracts that Brookfield signs to their clients in producing their power, and the decline in costs that come with uh, wind and solar power. So I think Brookfield makes for a great long-term investment. Curious to hear what you guys think. All right. Appreciate the question, Anthony. Thank you so much. Steve Weiss, you own it, so why don't you answer it? I do. Anthony, you put it perfectly that they are the future. They are signing long-term agreements. They just signed one multi-year agreement for power. And you've got the Brookfield alternative team, which is phenomenal, the best in the business behind this. So I'd rather own that with a 3.3% yield, pay attention, Jenny, than partner with the Saudis on Chevron because they control fossil fuel pricing. All right, Jim, next one to you. Wes in Roanoke, uh, Greenbrier. What's your take right now, Jim, on, yeah. on Greenbrier? Where do you think it's going? Yep. So long term, this is a great stock. Uh, two years ago, it was $60 a share. I think it will be back there. But in the short term, this is a hold. And here's why. It's up 53% in three months. And you've got to ask yourself, where's the next 10% move? It could well be to the downside. So if you don't own it, wait for a better entry point. If you do own it, hold on to it. I'm not selling any shares. So it's up 53% in three months, right? I mean, yep. Okay, so Roku had a, a uh, big gain. <laughs> you know, I mean, I love your question. <laughs> I love your question. Okay, you Let know me where answer. I'm going, right? I, I know I'm jumping in front of you. Roku yep. is up like because 12 percent this week, and yes. you, you get scared and you sell it because you don't want it to go down and, and you don't want to oh, be greedy. Scared. Now that this thing's up 53 <laughs> percent in three months, and you're telling our guy or, or gal n not to go anywhere. Yeah. And here's why. One's an investment, one is a trade. Meaning, you can value Greenbrier. You can say what the earnings are going to be and what's a reasonable valuation to put on it one year from now. Can't do that with Roku, okay? I have no idea how to value it. It's 14 times sales. Could it go to 20 times? Sure, but I have no reason to say that it will. Greenbrier has got rail loadings going up right now, which feeds into its rail car production and refurbishment. Those earnings are going to go up. Uh, I think it will have a reasonable multiple that will get it to $60 a share. But before it gets there, you might be back down at 31 first. That's where I want people to buy. Okay. I appreciate that. Thank you for, uh, thank you for answering that. Uh, Jenny, from Tim in Nebraska, Exelon, what do you think about it and utilities in general? Sure. Taking on Jim's theme of trade versus an investment, this is a great investment. You have a company that's trading at about 12 and a half times earnings. It's got a 3.9% yield. If you look at the big utilities like Duke, Dominion, Southern, Exelon, they're all about the same, right? They all have some of their energy generation from wind, solar, oil, gas. Exelon has more from nuclear than anyone else. They're the largest nuclear generator. I think you can own any of them. They're much better than bonds, but they're also long-term holdings. Know what you're getting into. It is not a home run. It is not huge growth. It's just slow and steady is going to win the race. Exelon's the cheapest of them all, too. It's a good idea. Okay. Michael I wish Far I owned it, but oh, I don't. Forgive me. Uh, Michael Farr, we finished with you from John in Maryland. What's a better long-term choice right now, Abbott Labs or Medtronic? John, I own both. I think both are kind of expensive. Abbott Labs is the best in class. It's 26 times earnings. I actually also own Becton Dickinson. It's the largest manufacturer of needles and syringes. It's at 18 times earnings. I just doubled my position in Becton Dickinson. I'm holding my positions in Abbott and Medtronic. And I think Becton Dickinson looks like a better buy.